Hello, this is my attempt to uh, come up with some political comedy and um, the first joke that I thought of is that <laughs> is that me and the first lady really have something in common now because we're both changing poopy diapers. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny for you watching this, but I thought it was funny. What else is funny? I don't know. I guess I can make some jokes about old age. Um, <laughs> you know you're old when you not only don't remember where you parked your car, but you forget what your car looks like. <laughs> you know you're old when all you want to do is sleep all day. It's not real funny, but it's kind of funny. Let's see. <laughs> you know you're old when you have to wear diapers. I hope that never happens to me. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, I had a thought about um, our vice president, which I didn't want to step on any toes, but I was thinking, what if, like, you know, I thought, like, Biden would get elected, and then, like, what if he died, and then Kamala, like, took over? And then I was like, I've always thought, I wonder if the Antichrist would be a woman. Because women can get very snorty and rude, you know, around that time when we're PMSing. <laughs> and I don't know, I just feel like the Antichrist could be a woman, but you never know. I mean, the Bible doesn't necessarily say if it was a he or a she. You know, it says something about that the Antichrist suffers a mortal wound and then they get healed. Which, if you haven't read the book Left Behind, you should absolutely read it. It's just wonderful. The first one, it's about 500 pages. I read it when I was 14. And it was, it's really the only, like, really big book that I read, like, on my own, you know, without being forced to, like, with the gun to my head, like, in school. They force you to read things, but if you read something on your own, it's a lot more enjoyable. Anyways, I recommend you all go read Left Behind, because it's all about, like, the end of the world. And, um, in that book, <laughs> they say that the Antichrist is the UN Secretary General. But I think that it would make so much more sense if it was the President of the United States, which I've always wondered, you know, about various presidents. Like, I thought Obama was, like, the Antichrist, because it says that he had a, that, that the Antichrist had a voice like a lion, and I felt like he talked like he was a lion, but he's come and gone, and he wasn't, so, you know. <sighs> now, I just want to discuss this issue of are we in the end of the world? I don't know, but, I mean, this is kind of serious. It's not a joke, but y'all should look up Dr. Phil's video with Netanyahu, and he's talking about Hamas. I'll just talk regularly. He's talking about how Hamas killed more of the Jews. They said more of the Jews died in Israel than in throughout history since the Holocaust. So like all those days combined. And that's a sign of the end. There's a verse in Ezekiel where it talks about um, it talks about all the countries going to war and attacking Jerusalem. Why would God let that happen? I don't know, but it's part of Bible prophecy. And in Ezekiel, it says, right after that, Jesus will come back and bring his holy ones with him, which is the rapture, and that's the Christians or believers. I don't think that only Christians will be raptured. There's a phrase where people say one from every tribe or a few from every tribe. The chosen. It's the people who submit to God. And it's not just Christians. <clears throat> so chew on that for a while. Anyways, I wonder if I could come up some more, with some more jokes um, I will just say that video of, like, Biden on stage, I think, okay, like, at first I thought, well, maybe he has some gas or something, but then most people think that he pooped, but I think probably he was just trying to sit down, you know, and my grandma would get like that, like, she just didn't necessarily know, like, what was around her, you know, and that's just part of getting old, so I think he, like, he thought that there was a chair, maybe he thought that his wife you know, should pick up on the cue that he wanted to sit down and she should have brought a chair over for him to sit down in. Maybe he thought, you know, she was bringing a chair. 
Because <laughs> maybe that's the kind of relationship that they have, you know. She's, uh, maybe she's like at his beck and call, I don't know. I know that's how it is down here in Texas, you know. The man expects the women to be like their slave. Like, my ex-husband, he said that his parents, his dad would eat some candy and he would just throw the wrapper on the floor, like, as if to say, come pick this up, woman, you're my slave. And I remember thinking, uh-uh, it's not going to be me. I'm not a slave. <laughs> Anyways, God loves you all. Y'all should go make your own little joke video, comedy, whatever, about all this craziness. God loves you. God bless. Bye.